obviously this is a travel show, so we like to talk about exotic kind of strange destinations. And I know South Africans, we're all loving to travel to Thailand and we're all loving to travel to Mauritius and we don't really think about going anywhere else. But here's a country that I think uh, we should all be considering, particularly if we live in Africa and, uh, and they're all coming to us um, with the uh, developments of Modafontine. It's China. And... Um, if you, I don't know if any of you have uh, thought about going to China. If you have, tweet us. Let us know if there's something particular that you want to know or somewhere particular you're thinking about it. But uh, to give us the basics, we've got Alette Steinin, who's the business development manager for Wendy Wu Tours. Uh, welcome, Alette. Thank you so much, Warren. Okay, good. Um, right, let's start right at the beginning with uh, with China. W- why China? What's the what's the attraction? What wh- what are people looking for when they go to China? Uh, well, China is such a diverse. Uh, country. Um, it's, it's got history dating back f- uh, 5,000 years. It's got um, the culture and um, it's got uh, all the, the landscapes, uh, like you know, the big wall of China um, and all the sightseeing. So it's, it's, it's really d- it's different from going to Europe or like you're saying, um, any other Asia, Asian country. And, and the big thing about China is um, you need to travel with somebody or an operator that that is professional, and they actually know what they're doing um, because there is there's a huge cultural difference, and um, also with the language barriers. Right, and I suppose I mean it is also it's an it's an enormous country it's with a, a lot of people. And I was told once um, the UK can fit um, into China thirty times. Well, there you so are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's All right. So so that's I mean that's an intimidating thing, and I think that's possibly one of the reasons why people don't necessarily immediately yeah. think of China as a travel destination because it is so intimidating. Mm. So let's let's talk about some of the highlights. What are the things that people who go to China for the first time should definitely see? Okay, I would say um, if you've got limited amount of time, um, say for example, only have nine days, we usually take people um, to Shanghai, Beijing, and Xi'an, which is the the, the top three cities. Um, if they've got a little bit more time, we'll add on a Yangtze cruise, a four-night cruise. Uh, basically, the highlights of Shanghai is um, you've got the Yu Gardens, you've got the, the Bund. Um, highlights of, of Beijing is the Forbidden City, yeah. um, the Great Wall. Uh, people always say you, you haven't really traveled to China until you've climbed the Big Wall, yeah. which is also 5,000 kilometers uh, long, so it's, it's, it's quite huge, and it was... Um, Man built. Um, also, Tiananmen Square, um, uh, Summer Palace, and then Xi'an is famous for the Terracotta Warriors. Right. Uh, mm. The Xi'an, um, the the bridge, um, the wall. Sorry, the Xi'an Wall, which is the one of the well most well preserved city walls still um, in Asia. Okay. All right. So I mean, that's that's a, a nice introduction. But as you say, you already started talking about the kind of add-ons. That, yes. uh, that people should start considering. So obviously nine days is really the bare minimum. What would you advise is, is a good length of time to go? I would say um, the shortest would be 15 days. Okay. Um, then you can, can work in uh, with, for example, um, have a tour that includes Shanghai, um, and then you start in Yichang with the Yangtze, Yangtze cruise, the four-night cruise, um, ending in Chongqing. Then you get off in um, visiting the pandas in Chongqing. They've right. got a, a very nice um, zoo in, in Chongqing. Uh, move on to Xi'an and then uh, end off um, with Guilin and then with Beijing. Right. And obviously, I mean, the pandas is, I mean, for nature lovers, that's yes. the only place that's you can really go and see them. Yes. Chengdu, Chengdu is where the, the giant uh, panda base is situated. That's where they're actually breeding the, the pandas. And, uh, you know, you can actually... Uh, interact with the pandas um, in, in the, at the, the giant panda house in Chengdu. Okay, and what sort of uh, tour levels are you offering here in terms of comfort? Is there a wide range? Are there things right from the top to the bottom? Is uh, it yeah, we've got three different styles of touring. We've got the comfort um, kind of where you go to the mainstream um, parts, you know, the mainstream uh, tourist sites. Then we've got the, the more, um, the longer kind of uh, touring, which is the... Um, the medium, sorry, the medium pace, which involves more, um, there's more cli- climbing, um, you visiting, you could b- stay overnight um, at a local's house. Right. And yeah. then we've got the active base touring, which is where you actually um, uh, go to Tibet, uh, you visit the Sichuan province, which is the start of the Silk Route, right. uh, which uh, they, you have to be very fit to actually, you know, take part in the, the tour. Okay. 
um, and there's also a different altitude level. Right. So okay. We've got different. We've got the the mainstream classic China tours, and then you also have the the hidden treasures where you actually, you know. Which you have to put some effort in. Yeah. Yes. You have to yeah. be prepared to do some training. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what do South Africans need in terms of visas or permission slips or? Well, uh, South Africa and all uh, foreign passport holders actually do need a visa to go to China, and. Um, you know, it's not as easy as it used to be getting the, the visa as well. You need to have an invitation letter. So you need to book through uh, two operator that can actually um, provide you with, with that kind of... Right. Yeah. And with Wendy Wu, um, we are a company that specialise in, in Asia. We specialise in, in full inclusive group tours. So when you book through us, um, your airfare is included, your, your, um, all the accommodation, your tour, your sightseeing. Um, your taxes um, and the visa for South African passport holders. So we include everything, so clients can just um, relax and, and know that everything is taken care of. Is it, is it an expensive visa? Is it a cheap visa? What are we talking? Um, about? Well, it's it's average. It's not. Okay. It, it's about the visa. It's about four hundred, about four hundred and fifty rand. Actually, that's uh, that's fairly reasonable. I think yeah, a Schengen visa like these the days about nine hundred or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, there you are. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then, how do people get there, and what are the best times of year? To go to China? Well, the best time of year to go to China is um, spring, which is March to May, and then again in the autumn, which is uh, September to September, October, November. Then it's uh, comfortable temperatures, uh, you know, it's it's not too humid, and, and it's also the least amount of rainfall that, that's over that period. Right, so March to May. March to May, yes, okay. and then again right. September to November. Right, and the best ways to get there, I'm sure there's a lot of flights. Uh, we would make use of uh, Cathay Pacific um, or Singapore Airlines. Cathay Pacific um, is the main um, airline carrier we make use of because there's a, the clients can stop over in Hong Kong. Right. So it's always nice, you know, en route to a destination to, to you know, to do that stopover. Right. And there's no fee involved in, in, in the stopover. Obviously, just the additional accommodation. But uh, the most direct way is with Cafe Pacific. Okay. All right. Um, that's it. Uh, are you running any specials at the moment? Any, anything that you want to specifically tell us about? Uh, well, we've got a China experience tour that's fully inclusive. That, um, like I mentioned before, um, it's, it's the shortest tour that we've, we've got. It's an 11 day um, tour, which, uh, which uh, it includes your flights, your sightseeing, your tour guides, um, your internal transport. Um, and it's uh, ex-Johannesburg, and it's uh, starting at 31,380 uh, rand per person sharing. And oh. it's four-star accommodation. Well, there you are. If you uh, haven't had enough of a holiday yet, there's no excuse now. It's time to try something a little bit more exotic. Try China. Thank you very much, Alette. Thank you really so much. Really appreciate it. Right. So that's uh, that's China. That's a basic introduction. I know it's a, it's a big country. It's a difficult thing to try and squeeze into these little short interviews. But I'm sure if you are the kind of person who's interested in China, you've done yeah. a little bit of research on it. Uh, Wendy Wu Tours, as we say, is... Uh, well, they're experts in that particular area, so have a look, have a go, and uh, and ask them. I'm sure they've got plenty of questions and things that they uh, they can answer. They've got a website. Pick them up there. All right.